Hey everyone, it's James here from Guitar Star TV. I hope you're doing good. Now I'm going to do a follow-up lesson today. Um, a couple of weeks ago I gave you the rhythm section to the intro to Spoke on the Wheel by Black Label Society. Uh, I'm going to do the lead bit for you today, so the intro lead. If you're ready, let's get going. So this intro solo comprises really of the notes from the E minor blues scale. So what we're going to do, if you're unfamiliar with that, I'll just quickly run through it. You're going to start on the 12th fret of your 6th string. You're going to go 12, 15. 12, 14 on the A, 12, 14 on the D, 12, 14 on the G, 12, 15 on the B, 12, 15 on the top E. So, if you're unfamiliar with that scale, um, get yourself sorted with that first. All the notes are from there, and um, we do go outside the box a couple of times in this, but the notes are still included in that scale. All right, so the first riff, what you're going to do is slide to the 12th fret on the G string, and then play the 12th fret on the top E string. So I use my first and middle finger for those two notes. And then you play the 12th fret on the G, 15 on the B. So, so far. And then you play the 13th fret on the B, so now, and then 15 again on the B, and then we do this little sort of bend sequence. Now what he does, he bends the note up first, so grab the 14th fret on the G string with your ring finger, put your first ring on the 12th fret behind it, now that's the next note we're going to play, and plus it adds a bit of strength to the bend. What you do is bend the note up two frets, play it, and let it come down. And then you go 12 on the G, 14 on the D, 12 on the G again. So, so far. The next little riff after that is 14 on the G. You slide that up to the 16th on the G. You play it once on its own. Play it again and slide straight up to the 16th so you get this. And then 15B, 16G again. So, play it again. Then after that, you do that little bend sequence again. And then he plays three notes after this. Now, the time of this is a really strange. You kind of have to feel it and just fit it in with the song. If you listen to the record, you know exactly what I mean. You go 16G, 14G, 12G. So you've got the bend sequence. And then you play the 12th fret on the D twice, but then slide up to the 14th on the second hit. So you get, and then you play the 14 again. It's that little phrase. So, so far. The little run after that is 12 to 14 on the A, 12 to 14 on the D, 12 to 14 on the G. So you get this. So what you do is hit the 12th fret on the A twice, and then you slide up to the 14th. 12, 14 on the D, 12, 14 on the G. So you get... Play it again. Then after that, 
So you do the little bend again, but you're going to stay on the G string this time. You don't do the last little uh, bit on the D string. So you go, just that. So bend down from the 14th on the G to the 12th on the G. Then what you do is bend the 14th fret up on the G, a whole step, really quickly, and then play the 15th on the B. And then you just do the same bend again on the 14th of the G, but really slow. So that last little phrase for you. And there you have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the whole thing through for you, um, nice and slow, so you can hear how it sounds. And if you need any extra help, just get in touch and I'll be happy to slow things down even more or send you the tabs. Here we go. So there you go, good luck and I'll see you soon.